The main joy that I have with knitting is that I can relax and, you know, I have a conversation or I can watch television or I can just uh, let my brain go um, and, and, and think about other things while I'm knitting. The, the purpose of today was to get people together to network and uh, about knitting. And you know, when I've been traveling around Canada and, and in Denmark and meeting all of the dynamic and interesting people who you know, I found very inspiring, you know, I wanted to be able to connect them to local knitters. So this was, you know, we have a great facility here and I thought this was the perfect place to, to bring everybody together. You can come from Toronto, you can come from Ottawa, Montreal in a two and a half, three hours, and you're here in this beautiful area, spend the day and then you can go home. Like it's such a great little spot to be able to do that. I'm Leslie Snyder and I own Rosehaven Yarn Shop in Prince Edward County, which is Picton. Christopher has been to the store a couple times and he invited us to come up. He um, and a couple of the girls were taking his classes and yeah, so it was just from him coming and popping in and telling us about everything and plus I was just, I was dying to see the log cabin because it's such an amazing building. So I'm like, yes, I need a day off. I need to go sit, relax and knit. <laughs> The, the atmosphere of your home is, is, is just absolutely fantastic. And it makes you just want to get back and relax and knit, you know, with beautiful fibers and just, you know, and, and uh, the history of the house and the history of, of knitting, you know, is, is kind of blends in together. It's neat to see all these creative people with all these neat colors and yarns and, you know, styles of knitting. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. So my name's Catherine. I am the designer of House of Knot. Um, and basically, I, I kind of have been bridging knitting with fashion. I now have a couple of pieces that are incorporate a little bit of leather or a little bit of lace-up features, and I take kind of the trends that are happening and then incorporating knitting into that. Catherine Fan, when we saw her or met her at the One of a Kind show, her stuff just stood out because it was amazing. Her stuff has been on um, the runways in Toronto during uh, fashion week and so that's something that is great that we can bring to the cabin have a workshop on it and bring local people and expose local people to to more of a fashion aspect of, of knitting. This summer I'm going to be teaching one workshop on Granny Square specifically. We're going to be playing with just this basic square so you can do a bunch of different patterns we can mix colors we can do and it's all about just sort of doing this one simple thing and then the second day is about playing with those little pieces that you've made and making this beautiful heirloom piece. And it could be a blanket or a shawl or a jumpsuit or a pillow or pants. It could be anything. And it's about, again, it's about playing with what you've made and sort of creating your own piece after that. My name is Vitat and I'm from Denmark. For me, knitting is a creative outlet. That's how I work with texture and with color. When I move around, I see textures in, in the bark on trees, in buildings, uh, walls. Uh, I see knitting all over, and that's how I transform it. That's how I let it out. Running into Vitard and in making that connection in Denmark was, was pretty amazing because he's a dynamic guy. He has very interesting stuff that you, you don't see in North America. Um, and his style is very unique to Vitar. If you see something, uh, one of his patterns, you know it's, it's, it's a Vitar pattern. Um, so bringing the Scandinavian aspect to Canada is, is very interesting. In Denmark, you taught knitting in school, or at least I was taught knitting in school. And I thought it was really fun and I brought it home to my mom, who was also a knitter, and she taught me how to read a pattern. And, and so it, I just thought it was fun, and I just continued and continued and continued. And I design patterns for myself, for brands, for magazines, and I teach and give lectures on knitting uh, and knitting tradition all over the world. The workshops I'm teaching here at this event are mainly based on, on the tradition. I'm teaching uh, a stranded colorwork class. I'm teaching uh, Scandinavian 
traditional sweater class, and then I'm teaching a stash busting class at this, at this event, because witch knitter doesn't have a lot of yarn at home in a cupboard and in a basket <laughs> hiding somewhere that they want to use for something. So today was all about you know, introducing the workshops to people um, within Prince Edward County in Toronto and to tell them what the workshops are all about and then also to network and give an opportunity for the workshop leads to talk about what they're into. Like the natural dye workshop, for example, that we're going to be walking out into the forest and look, pick it, picking plants and Carrie's going to dye them and then you'll come up with an end product. This is my seventh year doing Westlake Knits, which is my line of uh, hand knit accessories. I'm first and foremost a knitter, I would say. Um, I learned when I was really young, my grandma taught me how to knit. I have a little garden plot in my backyard in Toronto where I grow a lot of dye plants. I also do some foraging and then use some that come dried and powdered. Um, to dye natural fabric. I will be teaching two workshops here. One will be on indigo dyeing, because indigo kind of has its own special process of, of dyeing. We'll explore that. Um, we'll do some shibori dyeing, and so we'll also be doing some, uh, dyeing some yarn in the indigo vat. And then for the other workshop, which is gonna be on the Saturday, it's gonna be more general. We'll be just talking about all the other types of um, dye plants that you can use. My name is Vincent de Poivre and I moved in Canada five years ago. From, I'm originally from France and I completely fell in love with, uh, with Canada when I came in summer vacation. Christopher, who invited me, uh, he, yeah, he sent me a, uh, an email and to because I follow him on Instagram and I love what he's doing. And I love the spot, it's in the wood, in the cabin like that. And uh, no, of course, it's, it's a good idea and uh, there is a very nice atmosphere. and. Uh, no, it's, it's fun. I can't wait for more or for more events like that, for sure, yeah. yeah. My interest in knitting started when I was about six and watching my grandmother knit. And, but I wasn't allowed to knit because I was a guy and guys don't knit, but we play hockey. And so, you know, I didn't pursue that. Um, and then it wasn't until I was an adult and I saw other guys knitting, you know, that I decided this is something I want to do. Uh, there's a lot more men knitting today than there has been. And there's a lot more male knitters who are knitting in public, which you didn't see happen before. So, you know, that's, that's exciting as well. And you just see you know, more guys who are, um, you know, contacting me and wanting to know, you know, either wanting me to teach them how to knit or to get guys together to, to knit. Um, so there's been a huge camaraderie in, in that respect. Um, I also love people, and so bringing people together in workshops like this really excite me. Uh, my name is Eric Lutz. I'm a knitter from Toronto. I also publish a men's knitting magazine called RIP. Uh, I think it's a great event. I think that the, the space is outstanding. It makes me want to live here forever and do nothing but knit. It's peaceful, it's quiet. I think the instructors are, are going to be amazing. And knitting in the country, who doesn't want that? <laughs> Well, I'm Carla. I'm from A Needle Pulling Thread magazine. And later I started QuiltSocial.com and KnitMuch.com. Like the whole set setting mm -hmm. is so brings you back to a time where if you wanted mm -hmm. socks, you couldn't go mm -hmm. to like either online or the store. You had mm -hmm. to actually make it make yourself, it, yeah. right? <laughs> or go to the knitter mm -hmm. down down the road that <laughs> actually knits scarves or knit socks for everybody, right? Mm -hmm. So so that sort of thing. So it really brings you back to that. You know, to, mm -hmm. to that era where you can imagine there's no indoor plumbing, and you can imagine mm -hmm. there's no water, and you can imagine that people are actually working with their hands. Hard. You know, mm -hmm. and they're she they're shearing the sheep, and I uh, got the fleece yeah. from Joe, who's <laughs> down the street. Yeah, or yeah. <laughs> so no. you can really feel that here. So that's sort of the setting that is really per perfect for for knitters. Mm -hmm. Would I come back? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Are you inviting me next year? <laughs>